Hi, I'm Mr. Bradbury, the learning coordinator for A-Level PE. I'm going to be going through why you should choose PE at A-Level, the subject entry requirements to study PE at A-Level, as well as be going through the course content and breaking down what's expected and the practical and theory side of our course. So why choose PE at A-Level? We're looking for students that are dedicated uh, and committed for to improve their practical sport as well as being able to transfer that dedication to their theoretical side. We're actually looking for someone who underpins an academic athlete and you can see there that the definition that we find as a A-level PE student at NSB is somebody who is able to transfer their physical intellectual and emotional commitment to high level achievement both academically and within their practical sport. Let's talk about the structure of the course and how you're going to be assessed. We study AQA at A-level PE and that comprises of 70% theory and 30% practical with application and knowledge. The 70% theory is split into two exam papers, paper one covering areas one, four and six, paper two, two, three, five and seven. Both exams last two hours and they're out of 105 marks. The practical is split into two separate sections. 15% is based on your practical performance where you'll get assessed in one sport and that's broken down into being assessed in your attacking skills, defensive skills and your tactics and strategies in games. If you are an athlete or a swimmer it may be that you have to have two different strokes or two events as opposed to attacking and defensive skills. The other half of your practical is the analysis and evaluation of performance which is a written coursework element looking at the breakdown of your own sport uh, through looking at a performance, analysing it and evaluating it. I'm now going to talk about the seven areas that I mentioned earlier that relate to the two exam papers. So these are your theoretical areas that you'll study. You'll study applied anatomy physiology that looks at the body and the systems that we use in order to excel in physical performance. You'll look at biomechanics that looks at some of the laws with regards to physics, the levers, axes and the way that we move. Exercise physiology which looks at how we train, plan and prepare for performance as well as looking at diet and nutrition. Sport and society which looks at some of the concepts that are relatable to our society such as diversity, sport and society and the role of technology in physical activity in sport looks at some of the modern technologies that are used in sport and how this can affect performance. Skill acquisition looks at how we learn skills, the theories of learning and what actually is skill, what is ability and how we can apply these to our sport. Sport psychology which looks at many different things that affect the way that we think and the way that our mind works and how it can be applied within a sporting context. We've just had a look at the course content and now we're going to go and have a look at how the subject is taught and broken down within the school setting. We deliver the course as 100% theory with the expectation that students are to show commitment to their development in one sport outside of lesson time. The three double lessons that you have in a week are split into three teachers who specialise in the unit's content. So teacher one will deliver everything to do with the body. Applied anatomy, physiology, biomechanics and exercise physiology. Teacher two looks at sport and society. Teacher three looks at skill acquisition and sport psychology. 
So let's have a look at the entry requirements in order to study A-level PE. Firstly, you'll need to meet the school's minimum entry requirements for sixth form. And I'll ask that you refer to the sixth form minimum entry requirements information sheet. For this subject, you'll need a minimum grade six in biology for separate sciences or six six for core and additional science. You'll also require a grade five in maths and English language or English literature. If you've studied PE at GCSE, you require a minimum grade six or the equivalent for BTEC level two or the Cambridge Nationals. If you've gained a grade seven or better in PE, the requirement for biology sciences is not needed. It's also expected that an individual will have a significant interest in a chosen sport from the specification and play to a strong level. Let's have a look at the list of activities that you can study for your practical element of the course. Don't forget your practical is worth 15% and that split in 15 marks to a total of 45 marks. So you'll get marked 15 marks for your attacking, 15 marks for your defence, 15 marks for strategies and tactics. But if you're an athlete or swimmer or dancer, where the attacking and defensive principles don't apply, you'll get assessed in one event and then a second event. All of these details are labelled and outlined in the full specification for AQAPE. And I'd encourage you to have a look at what you will be assessed in for your sport before making your final decision on selecting this course. As we continue to look at the qualifying activities on the AQA specification, I'd just like to remind you that your practical performance is only 15% of your overall A-level PE grade. Another 15% comes under the practical heading through your non-exam non assessment. And that is in the form of your analysis and evaluation. This is where we use appropriate theoretical content included in this specification to analyse the performance of either yourself or another. Making sure that we can show not only the theory side of the course, but your knowledge and understanding of the sport itself. I'd like to reiterate that it is important to double check your sport against the specification to ensure that you are comfortable with all the skills that you will have to display when being assessed in your practical performance. As we reach the end of the list of qualifying activities for AQA A-Level PE, I'd just also like to repeat that we would have an expectation that you play at a strong level within your chosen sport. This of course will have an impact on your overall grade in a positive way and when we evidence your practical performance, we'd hope that you'd be able to display all of the different skills for your relevant sport specification. The extracurricular opportunities at Northampton School for Boys are outstanding and this reaches deep into the sport provision that we put on for the whole school body and that includes our sixth form students. You'll see a list below of the clubs that run uh, for the sixth form students and the opportunities that they can get in order to compete and represent the school. We found national success, whether that be competing or reaching finals, in a number of these. And I'd like to think that those students that study A-level PE will have a desire to represent our school at such levels. So you study A-level PE. Let's have a little look at the other subjects that you may want to study alongside that and then the options that that could lead you to a future career opportunity. So, we've found that over the years, many students who study A-level PE have done the following combinations and they have then gone on to higher education to study further, it's different aspects in the sporting world. So, people who study A-level PE 
may combine with biology and the sciences and move into medicine, physiotherapy or sports coaching. We have students that move to sports journalism after doing English, history and are comfortable in their written communication. We've had students that have studied economics or the business world that lay the foundations to sports management and perhaps the world of marketing and advertising. We have many students that study sociology, psychology, that go on to study sports psychology at a higher education level. We also have students that thrive within a PE atmosphere and want to continue that by either going to study a sports science degree or go on to conduct themselves towards a career in PE teaching within education. Many of them going on to University of Bedfordshire, Bristol University, Brighton University and Liverpool John Moores. All in all, the career opportunities that PE can give you are not just on paper, but it's the foundation that comes through some of the main principles that we like to follow within PE of resilience, determination and working hard.